I believe the headspace and the heart space of human beings is the most untapped renewable asset on the planet. I'll say that again. The headspace and the heart space of human beings is the most untapped renewable asset on the planet. I'm an employee experience design specialist and people often ask, how did you come to do this work? My first job sucked. My boss was awful, dictatorial. It was a horrible environment to work in. I couldn't reconcile that this was it. This was the working world. Surely there was a better way. Surely work didn't have to suck. And with that, a seed was planted. Not many people get to say that a defining moment in their career came from Google search's autocomplete function, but it was in mine. Fast forward a few years after that first awful job and the seed it planted was just beginning to germinate. I was starting to get curious about the science of employee experience and human experience design. And I typed into Google, my job makes me. Before I had time to finish my sentence, the search terms that I was prompted with by the autocomplete left me reeling. Based on how many other people had searched these terms before, Google thought that I might be looking for any of the following. My job makes me miserable. My job makes me depressed and anxious. My job makes me cry. My job makes me feel worthless. My job makes me want to self-harm. If you do this Google search yourself, you'll get the same or equally troubling prompts. Far too many of us know what one or more of these things feels like, myself included, and quite simply, work sucks for too many people. So I made it my mission to make work not suck for as many people as possible. Perhaps the thing that freaks me out the most about this Google search is that my job doesn't do any of that. The job doesn't make people miserable. The job doesn't make people depressed and anxious. An organization is just a group of people working together towards a common objective. So actually, it's the experience that people have with other people that leaves them feeling miserable, depressed and anxious, worthless. So in order to make work not suck, we need to shift the experience that people create for one another. We need better humaning in the world of work and in the world in general. In a world dominated by digital and technology, it's so easy to lose sight of the fact that no matter how different or how remote we are, no matter how digital crazy the world goes, we're still human, craving, creating, and responding to human experiences. There are over 3 billion employed people the world over. And every global engagement survey ever done indicates terrible, awful levels of engagement. Those 3 billion people, how much of their headspace, their heart space, their innate brilliance and their magic remains untapped, unaccessed and left on the table every day at work? And what might be possible if we could tap into it? In our company, we've come to define experience as the sum of everything in a given environment that creates how someone is being made to feel and whether they're being switched on and grown or switched off and depleted. When someone's being switched on and grown, they're being ignited, invited to think and contribute. They bring their passion, their curiosity, their discretionary effort, their courage. When someone's being switched off and depleted, they withdraw, they shut down, They've been made to feel inferior and you lose access to their innate magic. What could be possible and what might we achieve as humanity if more people were being switched on and grown by one another as opposed to being switched off and depleted? If we got better at humaning with each other. In every single moment of interaction with another person, you're creating an experience. You're either igniting them or shutting them down, stoking their passion and enthusiasm or causing them to retreat and withdraw. And after years of studying human experience design, one thing that has become exceedingly clear to me is that there is no middle ground. There are no neutral moments. The question really is with what frequency and what intensity are you moving between the two? 
between switching people on and switching people off, growing them and depleting them. The people that you interact with regularly, colleagues, employees, friends, family, grocery store cashiers, what kind of experiences are you creating for them? How are those moments leaving them feeling? Miserable or happy? Depressed and anxious or confident and calm? Worthless or valued? Think about your favorite person or some of the most positively impactful people in your life. How do they make you feel? What experience do they create for you? Whatever your answer was, I'm sure that it was some version of switched on and grown. The experience that they create for you leaves you feeling excited, important, engaged, seen, heard, or something similar. You want to be around those people. You want to perform well for those people. You're compelled to do your best for those people. More of us need to become those people. Over the years, I've come to think of myself as an architect, and I invite you to try it. Consider yourself the architect of the experience that you create for everyone that you engage with. Remember, there are no neutral moments. In every single moment, people are either being switched on and grown by you or switched off and depleted. And as an architect, it is your job to create experiences that leave colleagues, employees, friends, family, grocery store cashiers feeling switched on and grown. And sure, we won't always get it right. We'll slip up along the way and that's okay. We're still human. Rather, it's about being intentional as much of the time as we can to avoid switching people off and depleting them. When we start to get better at this, human to human, it will filter into our businesses, helping them become places where human beings thrive, places where people are being accessed at their highest levels, where the previously untapped headspace and heart space is now being tapped into. And this, I believe, is when we start to create a world in which work doesn't suck. <laughs>